Richards likes to have a pre-show haircut. With Alan Shearer, it's more of a polish. <laughs> uh, Arsenal's defeat to Manchester City has left them with just one point from the last three games. Next was a trip to Aston Villa and a lunchtime meeting with their former manager, Unai Emery. At the and take two big lessons, one in the first half that uh, we did a lot of simple things wrong and uh, and give two shots away and concede two goals and, and don't do enough, especially with the ball. And then the second half, when we raised the individual level, straight up, start to do the simple things right, change a few things and get momentum and, and play the game that we want to play and, and totally merit to win the game. The performance in the first half wasn't good enough, uh, but the reaction in the second half from all the team was the was right, and I think that's the way we need to we need to keep going. I think we let ourselves down sometimes. You know, we we do the hard part, part you know, going one 0 up or two one up against you know top of the league, and then losing the game four two. You know, it's. I feel like we've been in this situation too many times. Today, I am very, very disappointed. It is embarrassing as well for me. Is the last, the last goal because I've never told my goalkeeper to go one corner to score a goal because maybe one time of hundred times can score and maybe twenty times than hundred can receive one transition and receive a goal. And we have to keep our mind clear, smart. But now he know. He knows now. Thank for, you. For, the, for, for, his, for his career, he knows. And he'll remember. Thank you. Thank you, Renan. Thank you, guys. Goalkeepers should not be allowed up at corners. They should be back, and if the ball gets knocked out, they should bucket, mack it back in the box, don't you think? Yes, I agree. You agree? Good. <laughs> and they sure take I up do, space, don't they? They take up space <laughs> when goal for strikers for getting in the way. Anyway, huge win for Arsenal, uh, nevertheless. Uh, it took a while to get going, though. Yeah, it did. Um, Arteta's mentioned there that the, the, the simple things in the first half, and I just thought it was the, the little details in terms of the way they were defending. Normally, they go with Partey, and he's sort of the base for them to go off. But on this action here, you see Jorginho is with Watkins here, and you can see his first movement is forward instead of back, and they've, they've lost the ball. Okay, he's made one mistake. Can you cut the ball out? That's going to go over the top to Watkins. So there's the first mistake. And then here, Watkins take a touch and he's facing towards the crowd. If Saliba tries to push him that way, away from the goal, he lets him get the touch and then he lets it go on his left foot. And it's a wonderful finish from Watkins. This one here, Saka, I talked about the base of Partey. Partey not playing today. Odegaard doesn't know whether to stay or whether to go. It's all too easy. The ball goes wide. If you look at Ben White's position here, he just gambles to go to the ball a little bit too early. He should go back, get in line with the rest of his team. The run behind him, and then it's a wonderful finish from Coutinho. He does very well to get in the box. But yeah, the first half was... First was half that. wasn't good enough, and Mikel has obviously told his players that at half-time. He sent them out early, and then all of a sudden, they didn't panic. They started getting on the ball more, started creating more. Good ball in, should be in the back of the net. Then they get back to two all with uh, Zinchenko and everyone wants the ball and particularly this guy Odegaard who I thought had a, a wonderful second half he started to do that fine passes going in behind again that should be in the uh, in the in the back of the net the pressing wasn't right in the first half it was in the second half because then they created this huge chance for for Odegaard because of that I mean it should be in the back of the net but that <laughs> didn't stop miss. him bad miss that didn't stop him by the way, because I, I think he actually got better after that, which tells you his mentality. He wasn't frightened to go and get on the ball still. Then they, again, they still found that pass, creating a good, uh, a good opportunity. And then this happens in the 93rd minute for Jorginho. Yes, it's a little bit of uh, a look, unlucky for, uh, for Martinez, the way it bounced off him. You can see what it means to him. But mentality-wise, I think... When you look at those stats, they deserved it. And not only that, but they sent a message out to Manchester City. How many times also over the years have we said about teams at the top of the league, yeah. you've just got to find a way to win. Yeah. And to Arsenal's credit, they did that in that second half today. Yeah. Huge. It was massive, massive, yeah. wasn't it? Huge Especially huge. losing to Man City. Everyone yeah. thinking, OK, Man City yeah. are just going to blow them away. Mm. But the mentality was brilliant. When you know when you look... When you look at the big picture against the, the, for their game against Manchester City, they made two huge errors yeah. and got punished for them, particularly the world-class finish from De Bruyne. They missed some big chances as well, and that was a big difference in yeah. the game. OK. Uh, that Arsenal win took them back above Manchester City, who travelled to Nottingham.